Aha! Uh -huh. Perfect timing. For That's the where I come in. Mm -hmm. All right, this time it's kind of a slow week, but there's an interesting film out called How I Live Now, starring a wonderful Irish actress named Sersha Ronan. You may remember her from Atonement, The Lovely Bones, and Hannah. Yes. And this is a science fiction y dystopian futuristic tale about England on the brink of World War III. Dystopian. Mm -hmm. Let's Here learn a go. new word. And Gold Star to the editor who started with that clip because that scene at the beginning there is one of my favorite in the in the movie and it stays with you a long time after the film is over. Uh, th that is basically the moment London gets bombed by a nuclear device. But where they are, this group of kids, you know, they're they're far away from it, but they still feel the effects of it. It's a very powerful scene. Basically, Sersha plays an American teen who goes to live with her cousins in England, mm -hmm. and you don't get a lot of like obvious exposition about what's going on, but it's clear from the news reports and the tanks lining the streets and the helicopters and the barbed wire that the country is on the brink of World War III. There are terrorists who kind of remain, you don't know much about them, but they're on the brink of taking over the country. So the bomb goes off, they get separated from any adults, and she has to sort of take her young cousin through the wilderness and navigate all these terrifying situations. A very interesting film, kind of reminded me of Children of Men. So... Are we all going to see this movie, Thor? Well, she's very captivating in the role. Saoirse Ronan, one of the best actresses in Hollywood right now. It's got very engaging execution. Some of the scenes, as I say, were very powerful and stayed with me. It's from the director of uh, The Last King of Scotland, Kevin MacDonald. Wow. And it paints a very eerie portrait of the near future and a very stark look at nuclear war in a very realistic, sort of gritty way. My problem, though, and where it lost a lot of points, was um, it got into the sappy young adult romance towards the end uh, with a lot of undeveloped characters. So to me, that kind of diminished the power of the overall theme and the message, but there's a lot of good things about this movie and another captivating performance from Saoirse Ronan. So a little too much Hollywood ending, but some good substance yes. underneath. So is it worth our box office buck, or are we waiting for this one on a smaller screen? How you know many what? hammers? I would say it's worth your time. Three out of five. I'll take it. Yeah, there you it go. It kind of resonates it, like it that. It grabs you. That idea of just oh, that sound in the distance and, oh, no, yeah. is it happening now? Yeah. And what would you do separated from your family? Exactly. <sighs> Good Check one, Thor. Okay. Uh, I got chills. Michelle McDermott, are you going to warm us up with some good news? 